Good morning. Today I want to talk about the marathon of faith for our devotional. The marathon of faith taken from Hebrews 12 verse 1. Hebrews 12 1 says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1. Let us pray first. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day that you have given us. Thank you for the breath of life. Thank you for your grace and mercy. And we pray, O oh God, that you would uh, forgive us from all our sins and help us to learn from your word. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Most of us are familiar with the Great Faith Hall of Fame in the previous chapter, Hebrews chapter 11. And now, Hebrews 12.1 is a transition verse as indicated by the opening word, Wherefore. Okay? As chapter 12 begins, the writer quits referring to the faith heroes of the past and turns his attention to the present day and to us. Today, there are three things we can discover in this transition verse that apply to each of us today. First, I want to share to you motivation. Motivation. Our verse says we are also, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. The great faith heroes of the past, Abraham, Noah, Moses, and others, give witness to the value and blessing of living by faith. Our motivation for running the race that is set before us is not that we will receive praise from these who are sitting, as it were, in the heavenly grandstand, cheering us on. Rather, we are inspired and spurred on to victory by the godly examples those saints set during their lives. Their demonstration of faith encourages us to live in a similar manner. So this is motivation. This is our motivation. Second, I want to share to you not only motivation, but elimination. Our verse uh, says, Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. These words challenge us to lay aside both the weights and sins that would, that would, that would uh, slow us down in the marathon of God's service. We all know what sin is. And in this context, it refers to the sin of unbelief. Weights. Okay, this word weights. Weights are encumbrances, which although not necessarily sinful, Weights would slow us down or hold us back from peak performance. A true athlete will strip away every piece of unnecessary clothing before competing in a race. For example, would you run a race in combat boots? While there would, nothing, while there would be nothing wrong with, with it, one would be foolish to choose that particular footwear to use in a race. Christians are faced with many things today. Many things which are not necessarily bad or evil, but which might be time-consuming, energy-draining, and mind-diverting. They are not sins, okay? But they could easily become weights to slow us down in the race of faith. Remember this. While every sin is a weight, not every weight is necessarily a sin. Let us be wise in what we allow in our lives. Be wise in what you allow. So, in our, in our passage, we have seen motivation. We have seen elimination. Third and the last is continuation. Our verse says, Let us run with patience. This is endurance. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Endurance is the steady determination to keep going, regardless of temptation to slow down or give up. 
In fact, our inspiration for continuing is found in verse 2. It says, Looking unto Jesus, looking unto Jesus, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. If the Christian life were a sprint, most people could handle it. But it's a marathon, a long distance race. And it's the distance that has beaten so many. A modern marathon is uh, around 42 kilometers. The athletic metaphor here presents the faith-filled life as a demanding, grueling effort. Because the Christian life is a marathon, not a sprint, we do have to consider the big picture. God tells us that rest and recreation are needful. He has also given us a family that needs our time and attention. And He wants us to take care of the temple that our body that belongs to Him. Even so, we must practice the dedication and determination needed to finish the race of life in a standing that would bring glory to God. God bless us all.